Hey YouTube, this is John, or as I'm better known as CS Tutorials and Tutorial Studio. So this tutorial, I'm gonna be covering how to do form action attributes and how to do submit buttons. All right, so last time we covered how to do checkboxes, and here's what the checkboxes are right here. And basically, what we did is the input type equals checkbox, saying, "Oh, hey, I'm a checkbox, so I need to be a checkbox." And the name of it's gonna be, "Oh, you're, I'm a vehicle, so whenever you click me, I'm a type of vehicle." And the value equals airplane. So when you click the checkbox of that of that value, it's like, oh hey, you have a vehicle that's an airplane. So yeah. But uh, enough about that tutorial. I'm gonna go on to the this tutorial, which is uh, form uh, submit buttons and form attributes. So let's go down, and we have to go into the first form beginner tag in the first form tag, and we have to put space name equals in quotations input. So that means. And the form name input that means oh hey you have a this is gonna be an input type of form for for the submit button and then we're gonna put action and this is where the action attributes come in and then in this in these quotations you can type in any website you want like HTTP YouTube.com or anything like that or your own website if you have one <clears throat> but I don't have my website up so I can't submit it to my website but I will put HTTP no YouTube. Ah, crap. Hold on, guys. Oh no. Slash YouTube.com. Ah, no. Screw it. Okay, there we go. I finally got it. And no, I didn't. P. Okay, so it's gonna send. It's the action it's gonna do. It's gonna send the input data that we type in in the input box to YouTube.com. You can type in your own website if you have one, but uh, I, this is just for the sake of the tutorial, so yeah. And then we're going to do a method. Method equals get. What this is, is that it's going to, that the method means it's going to, the website is going to get or receive the information that you send to it using the input submit button. And okay. So, basically, when the user clicks on the submit button, the content of the form is going to be sent to the server. Uh, which is basically where your website and all your stuff is stored and the forms action attribute which defines the name of the file and to send the content to so basically this defines where I'm going to be sending it to and then the file defined in the action attribute usually does something with the received input so YouTube is going to get it and it's going to do something with it so I don't know what it's going to do it, uh, it's going to do something so let's type a title of our input box so username Okay, then we're going to go down, and we're going to do an input box. Input type equals text. Then we're going to do name equals user. Okay, we're going to, hold on, space, there we go. So that's going to be our input box. That's going to be our input box for the form. And also it's going to show us what, and it's going to, <coughs> excuse me. It, the input is going to be like, hey, I'm a text box, and the name of this text box is going to be user. So you're going to put your username into the input box, into the text box. Okay, so now we're going to do another input. Input uh, type equals submit. And this is what it's going to do. It's going to be like, hey, my type is a submit button, so I got to make a submit button for this uh, input box. So okay, then we're gonna do name equals submit, <clears throat> and the name you could put in anything you want. I'm just gonna put submit for the sake of the tutorial, but you can put any name you want if if needed. So that's it for that. Now we're gonna go to file and save it so we don't lose it, and then we're gonna hit F11, or you can go to view preview and browser. Okay, submit query. I wonder what I did. Um, I didn't do anything wrong, so that's what it's going to do. Submit query. Okay, so username CS3 Tutorials. There we go. My username's right there. And we're going to submit it. So basically, what it did is when we hit submit, is when we hit submit, my username is going to be is sent all the way over to YouTube.com. But YouTube and YouTube's going to do something with that user with my with that input data that we put into the text box so basically it's gonna do something with this and it's gonna, after we submit it it's gonna get it and then it's gonna 
do something with it, but uh, we don't know what it's going to do unless we tell it to. But, yeah, but we're not going to get into that. I'm going to, this is just basically how to show you how it, how a submit button and action attributes work. So basically, here's what we did again. Go back, a username, that's the title of our text box. Then we type in our text that we needed, and usually the text box is usually 50 characters, but you can, t you can uh, edit that if you want to. Uh, in, the, in one of my previous tutorials, it shows you how to do that. And also, if if you type if you type some characters in the text field, uh, and then you click the submit button, the browser basically sends your input to the page, which is basically uh, YouTube.com, and the page will show you the received input data usually, but usually it doesn't depending on on the web page. So okay, let's go back to Alley Code, and okay, this is I'm gonna explain this one more time. So form name. So this means that uh, oh hey, I'm gonna this form is gonna be something way different. This form is gonna be sending some data now. So we're gonna input some data, and then the action is gonna send it to YouTube. So and then the method YouTube is gonna get or receive that information. And then we put in the title of our of our text box. Then we typed in the text box. So we got a type, and it's a text box input to, uh, data. Then we have the name of user. So that's what it's gonna be and then input type submit and then the name equals submit so we have a submit button and the submit button is name submit and then we have a type and the type means oh hey I'm a submit button so I gotta do all this action up here of the form it's what this does type submit it's gonna take all this and put it into the submit button and then send that data to the to the website okay so that's basically uh, submit buttons and also check out my giveaway which will be the next video and then on my 13th tutorial I'll be covering scripts uh, for HTML pages and that helps make HTML pages uh, more dynamic and interactive so uh, that'll be more fun now the previous tutorials they weren't a waste of time I know they were a little boring but those tutorials will help us in doing our scripts and other and more HTML uh, HTML code so that's just not a waste of time hope you had fun with it if you did but basically this will help you uh, do scripts uh, anything else in HTML programming and editing so hope you had fun with this it wasn't a waste of time but if it was a little boring but trust me scripting is a lot more better and a lot more fun to put mess with so alright and hopefully you uh, subscribe to me I have I think 52 right now or probably more if you're watching this later on in the future <laughs> but um and also check out my giveaway it will it will end when I reach 100 subscribers so it's gonna be for three two or three mystery albums which I will not release until the giveaway video I posted on YouTube so okay check out for would check that out and also subscribe to my videos on see my CS3 tutorials account and my tutorial studio account which the links are down at the bottom of the video and in the description box also follow me on Twitter link is in the description and click that big yellow button too so you can be subscribed to my videos and alright guys let's uh, have fun have fun in the giveaway too uh, rules will be explained in the giveaway video and alright I will see you guys in the 13th tutorial so see you guys later